Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today's video is all about Create Your Court. All right guys, so first thing you need to know, don't mind my dad in the background. He's just here to chill out and lounge until he has some business to handle. But today we are here to talk about Create Your Court. Now, this is a feature that NBA Live has been working on for the last, I believe, two years. Um, we talked about it in one of our meetings and we was like, you know what? It would be dope if we can have something for ourselves instead of the game kind of guiding us in that way. So today it looks like Custom Course is a thing that is now here. Now, not only is it a custom court, now some of you guys might be in tune with what a custom court is. It's a court of your making. It's somewhere to go shoot around, scrimmage, play a couple games, one-on-ones. Well, guess what? This one has private matchmaking, which means, yeah, 5v5 on your court with you and your friends. Yeah. So to start things off, you create your court by putting in a city, putting where you're from, whatever the case may be, and then you go into the customization feature. But first thing, just to let you know, EA is big on trying to add as many cities, towns, wherever you're from in their game, in their database. So I advise you, if you're watching this video, I want you guys to go tweet at EA Sports NBA and tweet where you're from, city and state, to see if they can put it in the game. Now, I'm a big proponent of this because as being a game changer for NBA Live, being a game changer for UFC, there's been times where I've been always asking, man, I'm from Chester, PA. I need that in the game. I mean, I know I'm right next to Philadelphia, but I'm from Chester. And after a couple years, UFC start putting me in the game. NBA Live put me in the game. All I'm saying is I'm in the game. So let's talk about these custom courts real quick. So for creating your custom court, you can choose from colors, you can choose from different textiles, you can choose from different hardwood or asphalt or concrete, and you can choose different logos for your court. Now, EA is saying that they can put five logos in five different places on your court. Also, you can change the rim, the backboard, the stanchion pads. You can change a lot in this one court experience. So in NBA Live 19, EA said that their main goal is to give something to the creators that represent them the most. Now, as a creator for YouTube, my thing that I wanna create is something to flaunt all over social media, all over YouTube. I want people to say, hey, I wanna 1v1 you, I wanna 3v3 you, I wanna bring my five, come to my court. Holla at me. We there. So just to let you guys know, I got a created court in NBA Live 19 already. Let's take a look. I am the one, don't wait your time, don't need a gun to get Now I know what you guys are thinking. All right, your court's cool and all that, but I want to see more. Well, just to let you guys know, there are other custom courts in the game that can be created from scratch, and I'm actually going to show you guys a couple of those right now. So a lot of people might know that I'm a Candace Parker fan and that me and my friend gaming actually had it out in a WNBA tournament during the finals last year. And yeah, I had to spank my friend, but the main proponent of that was that I became an even bigger Candace Parker fan because I went off with her versus my friend gaming. So check out this custom Candace Parker LA Sparks fire court right here, bro. This court is amazing. I just can't believe that courts like this can be created in a video game. And I know you guys are probably thinking like created. Well, is this just a template? No, this is actually something different. You can put graphics on top of graphics and change colors within other colors. So if you wanted the yellow that's on this court right now to be blue and wanted the blue water splash to be yellow, you could do that. That's, that's something that could actually happen in NBA Live 19. All right, so this next picture that you guys are looking at, this is a court of Joel Embiid. This court right here, actually, honestly, I might create this court myself to put in NBA Live 19 because remember, even though you create one court, that doesn't mean that you can't create more courts. So that's just a little gem that I'm throwing you guys. I'm gonna throw y'all the alley-oop real quick and let y'all know that you can save multiple courts within NBA Live 19. All right, now breezing through, I'm gonna show you guys two images of two psychedelic type courts. One is uh, full of boom boxes and the other one is full of crazy uh, shapes and all different kind of wiggle lines and all that. So this goes to show that there is more creativity in NBA Live 19 instead of just template making. Like, like just be real, a court full of donuts though, fam, like, 
who greedy behind thought of this right here? Look at the text on the side of the court, yo. It say just eat. Like, yo, somebody over at EA was too greedy when they made this court, man. All right, now this court right here just goes to show that you can put different colors and shapes and abstract images within one court. This also says my court, my rules. So it's pretty easy to let you guys know that customizing is probably going to be a big thing. You won't see too many people with the same court unless a big YouTuber like me makes a court and everybody else just copies it. <laughs> now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is probably the best court that I've seen. The James Harden court right here. I don't know. It's like an image within an image. It's, the overlay is just insane, yo. I just don't know how they did it. I just want to know what designer did they call because I need his number. Who, who need a new thumbnail maker? I'm, I'm going to see if I can get this dude number, man. All right. These next two images are pretty straightforward. You got an all black court with roses on top of it. And then you also have another court where it's like abstract lines again, but it's pretty one dimensional. It's not a whole bunch of different shapes and wiggly lines and stuff like that. Pretty one dimensional, but... The last court on the list that you guys see here is this octopus court. Now, I can't lie to you, man. It looks pretty dope. It really looks like the octopus is still in water. You know what I'm saying? Laying it up at the other end. You know what I'm saying? Stretching the whole span of the court. It's a pretty dope look, man. And not only that, you can still see the lines on the court, such as the free throw line, the top of the key, three-point line. They're still pretty distinct to let you guys know that you will be able to see where you're shooting from if you're in inside or outside the paint. You know what I'm saying? So the, the image and the drawing and everything like that and the colors don't overshadow the basketball court itself. It's pretty dope. All right, guys. So all in all, I can tell you guys that creating your own court in NBA Live 19 looks like it's going to be dope. Um, I Honestly, I want to see everything that everybody can possibly bring to this i don't want to just see everybody create the basic court and you know everybody have the same court i want you guys to get creative man so when this game drops and you get it hit me up on twitter send me some uh screenshots of your new court and i'm gonna be throwing the retweets out there man i'm gonna be taking polls man i'm gonna i, I might do like a top five court design you know what i'm saying throughout the year each week how about that? What y'all think about that, man? Leave a comment in the comment section right now if you would like to do that. Maybe a top five courts of the week. And maybe, you know, we can even, uh whoever the winner is, we can run it up on my court. You dig? I'm going to holler at you guys, man. Peace. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.